It was a really trippy year. I mean, I found out that I had a son last year. He's two years, he's almost going to be four years old now. But I think that, you know, God has given me the strong enough mind and willpower to overcome everything and then make the music, the surfing, the family and everything, business all fit fit in and be able to um, endure all the different challenges that come with each of them. And, you know, that's why I work so hard in the gym and, and I love to surf. It just clears my mind. Oh, I do underwater work training. I do boxing. I do strength and conditioning. I do explosive. I have a methodology that I've been using a lot. It's called the Braven methodology, and Rob has come, and come up with it. It's timing, rhythm, speed, and balance, you know, all mixed into sports specific training with the sports medicine, with the diet. And it's all like a, it's more of a lifestyle than just, oh, this training program that I'm doing. You gotta, you gotta live it. I train for just life period, you know, because nowadays you never know what's gonna happen. And I need to be in, you know, top physical condition, top mental condition, you know, just to raise my family and chase around my kids is hard enough. And, um, you know, to be exhausted from that and being exhausted from music and then trying to go into surf 25 foot waves, it's hard. So, I really need to be in condition. I need to be in shape, and I need to know that when I paddle out that I've prepared myself for everything and not something to have fun. Well, being in the gym with Manny Pacquiao and, and Ray Beltran while they're hitting the bag and Rob's telling you, oh, you got to stand on the other side of the heavy bag and hit it, you're like, it's hard, you know, it's totally humbling. You see them getting in there and just getting in with some of the baddest men on earth and just pounding. It's, it's definitely, I stand back like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, Okay, my turn, I'm like pee, 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 on the bag and on the mitts and, you know, same for them. They come and watch me surf at Waimea or something. They're like, oh, I don't even want to set foot in the water, you know, so the respect is just unbelievable. I wasn't born into the Brady Bunch because, you know what I mean, I was uh, three years old, thrown on the ground, guns to the head, 90 cops that arrest my dad, you know, took my father away from me when I was young. I mean, lived in a tent on the beach after that, I lived in a spray paint shack that people used to spray paint surfboards in. Um, I never had a house, I never knew where my dad was. I remember showing up at the Oahu Correctional Facility. That's the only place I ever got to see my dad when I was young and it just made me a better person. No crying, no whining, that's the story. That's the hand I was dealt. And uh, that's why I am who I am today. Every day's a struggle, you know, nothing's really good because you know I might look I'm number one in the world I got this and that but I still have the same daily struggles that everybody else has and I got to keep my mind right to overcome them and you know things will be good once I see my children succeed once I see my family get ahead in life you know and then for me to grow old and to watch my kids you know be happy then then things will be good until then I gotta just keep grinding. Kalal is like my big brother my dad introduced him to his own father my dad helped raise him as a child, and when he thought he was old enough to meet his father, he took him to Maui and introduced him to his own father. So my dad's pretty much like Kala's dad. He's been there from day one, and he's still there. And I really look up to him because he did some things before that gave him a bad name, a bad rap. People used to say this and that about Kala, but the way that he's reinvented himself, the changes that he's made in his life, you know, I look up to. I try and do some of the things he does because he's such a great person with the kids and you know everybody with you know genetic disorders and he's just all around just he's done one of the heaviest 360s I've ever seen and I'm so proud of him and happy to you know have him in my life. I always played music I loved music but um Rob Garcia was just here he he was the one that told me you know can you please try and maybe record a few songs because you know every other surfer in the world is going to Indonesia. Everybody else is going to Desert Point. Everybody's going here. They're all going to get the same exact wave. Like try and make music and maybe you can make another career for yourself beyond the surfing. And I was like, nah, and he talked me into it and now you know the rest is history. I'm here, I have an album, you know, I'm going off to number two. I'm traveling all around the world playing music and it's such a wonderful thing. And I've, I've just been so blessed to be able to do all that.
Yeah. Short, yeah. short but sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah.